This is part two of the Angular course where we're going to get your Angular project using material design, where you get the benefit of these components out of the box with your Angular project. Let's get started. If you want to get fancy and you want to use some pre-built pre items, you can use Angular material and it's really nice. You get these cards and you get some examples and then you get, uh, you get buttons, you get fonts, you get these cards, you get toolbars. You get side navigation, badges, buttons, chips, all sorts of things. So the way to install that is you go to get started and you run another Angular ng command. So I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to stop the application running for the moment because we're adding something to the project, to the package JSON, an external dependency. So the project needs to be restarted for that. So now I've just pasted that in, ng add angular material. You can choose a default theme and then you can do your own custom ones later on. So for now, I wanna pick the first one, which is indigo pink, hit enter. Do we want uh, gestures? Probably no for now. Browser animations, let's have some browser animations and then it will run through just like it did before. Now that's done, you guessed it, we should run npm start. Now that's running again, we should go back to our browser. So now we've added material to the project, nothing's actually changed, we're not using any of it. It's available, but we're not using it. So what we need to do now is according to their documentation, is we need to import that component. So we head back to VS Code, we open app module, and we import the component we, we would like. So the component is mat toolbar module. So we write mat toolbar module, it automatically auto completes for us. We hit enter, it will bring it in at the top as well as a dependency already for us. We don't forget to save the file. And then, and then if we look back at our code again, nothing has changed, but it's become more available. It's now not only available as a third party dependency, it's actually available in our application. So now if we just take their first simple example, which has no icons because we would need to include the icon component. We'll just take the first one, the custom toolbar. So we'll take this and then don't forget to close the tag as well. We need this closing one at the bottom. So I've copied and pasted that. Nothing's changed on our website. And above hello world, I will paste it. Must not forget to close the first one because every opening tag must have a closing tag. I've now saved it. If we go back to our code, we now have a toolbar. So now we have access to all the material components, be it a stepper like this. So you want to go next, back and forward and change it to from horizontal to vertical. And you can jump like that. All these components are now available for you from spinners to lists. You've got some really nice lists going on. These are all available. But remember, when you want to use one, go to the API tag. Remember to include the module in the app module.ts file in the import section. And then you can go to their examples and grab the code that you want to use. I hope that helps. Any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified for future videos and tutorials.